is a favorite thing about Thanksgiving for you? Turkey? Cranberries and turkey and stuffing. Okay, so food. I'm hearing food. Anything else? Family. 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 And family. Tradition. Yep. Just the food. I'm with all. I, I'm with you, Travis. <laughs> My favorite part of Thanksgiving is the leftovers. And even though I have my meals planned for the week, which is great, what I really like about leftovers is the turkey sandwich. In fact, I'll make my turkey dinner like at noon time. That way I'll be hungry by five again so I can make my turkey sandwich. And not just any turkey sandwich, it has to have fresh bread, you know, the kind where you can squish it and it bounces the springs back up. And then I layer with mayonnaise, but real mayonnaise. None of the salad dressing, low fat type of mayonnaise. It's gotta be real. And then I make a meat stuffing. And then I put the turkey and then another slice of bread. So that's what I like about Thanksgiving, is the leftovers. But I'm thinking about this one Thanksgiving in particular, really wasn't any different than other ones where I had plenty of leftovers put them all in Tupperware containers and into the refrigerator. But some of it was hanging out a little bit, so you had to give that refrigerator like a shove, just to make sure that it closed, because if anything was poking out, I had to juggle things around to make sure it would close. And the next day, I went out shopping for a few hours. And you know that little feeling you get when you think about, oh, did I shut the stove off? or? And for me, it was, did I remember to give that refrigerator another shove close? I convinced myself I did. It was too far to turn around anyway, so I had a great day shopping. And I came home, but that sinking feeling kept coming back as I was getting closer to the house. Did I mention I had a dog that was home alone? His name is Rocky, or was Rocky. He was our first lab rescue, chocolate lab. Loved to play with the tennis ball. That's all he had on his mind most of the time was to play the tennis ball. And if we weren't throwing it and he wasn't catching it, then he was always chewing on the tennis ball. Well, I got closer to the door, peeked inside, because we'd go in the back way and you could see the kitchen. And he looked inside, everything was fine. So I was like, oh, yeah, that's what I did too. Phew. I was appreciative for that. And I walked into the kitchen and kept walking to put my stuff down. But something caught my eye in the adjoining room over here. And it's the wood stove room. It had some comfortable chairs in it and, of course, a wood stove, just books, no TV. It was just a relaxing room. And what I saw there in that wood stove room was rocky sitting in the middle of the room. Sounds okay right now, except he had all these Tupperware containers <laughs> all around him. And he's sitting there, like in this vulture pose, ears pulled back, eyes averting me, probably thinking, uh-oh, I'm going to be in the doghouse tonight. I had to. I had to run to the refrigerator just to be sure. And I open it up, and of course, all the leftovers are gone. And to add insult to injury, we had had Chinese food a few days before <laughs> Thanksgiving, and there were these empty Chinese cartons as well, strewn along the floor with all the Tupperware containers. Now, the thing is, these Tupperware containers would look clean. They were clean. There was not anything left. Just the lids had little bite marks on them. So I did what any rational person would do before going psycho on this whole situation. I grabbed my keys and I took off. <laughs> I came back a, a little while later after I had cooled down and I had groceries to plunk down and I started to make another Thanksgiving dinner. That's how much I like leftovers. Now, the aroma of this turkey is cooking as my husband, Roger. Now, some of you know Roger, and for those of you who don't, he's tall, about 5'10". He has, used to have hair curly like Travis, and now it's uh, thinning out. And he's very gifted and talented. He can pick things up easy, and he's 
used to be this athlete, this triathlete and extreme sports kind of guy. But the one thing you don't do is when he was coming home from work is barrage him with chatter. He needed to unwind. But I couldn't wait to tell him <laughs> what had happened. And I just told him, I said, well, you should hear what my day is and the turkeys in the oven. He's like, what turkey? I thought we have the leftovers. But I said, and I couldn't even finish this gory story about what Rocky had done. And he said, oh, well, you just didn't close your refrigerator door. Now, of course, <laughs> that's what was going through my mind, too. But I thought, well, you know what? I'm not going to let him have the upper hand here. So I said, you know, we've had this refrigerator for many years. I think I know how to open and close a refrigerator door by now. <laughs> but I let it be. And that was the end. There wasn't any thievery out of the refrigerator for quite a while. And one night, Roger and I are sitting in the wood stove room. And we see the refrigerator light go on. So we bolt over to the refrigerator. And lo and behold, who's got their nose in it but Rocky? And he's pulling out carrots. I kid you not. Now, I know that Labradors are retrievers, but retrieving from the kitchen just really seems to be cheating a little bit. Well, you should have seen the look on Roger's face and the triumph look on my face thinking, oh yeah, oh yeah, you are in the doghouse tonight, mister. So after that, we made a few more changes. We got a childproof lock to put on the refrigerator door which was great fun to watch guests come over and try to open it. We nicknamed Rocky Houdini because that was a great magic trick. What he was able to do is he took his nose and he was able to wedge it on where the rubber is in the refrigerator and it was enough to release it. He went on to do other tricks too while we had him. <laughs> but the biggest lesson for me was to just believe in yourself, no matter how much others try to convince you otherwise, but to believe in yourself. And then the final lesson for me was, now I have two turkeys every Thanksgiving, just in case I need more leftovers. <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster.